Hey, I'm Erin Chase from Five Dollar Dinners and I want to help you get through this challenging time by sharing how freezer meals work and why they're going to be really practical and useful for you right now. We're all stuck at home. We are social distancing, we are self-quarantining, whatever you want to call it. To reduce the risk of all that's going on, we're going to be eating at home A-L-O-T. I want you to think about how you could use a freezer meal for the nights that you would have gone out for dinner with your family. So we're gonna make a beef roast with sweet potatoes and carrots. But the idea here is when you see the meat is available, get it from your store and then put it together into a set of freezer meals so you have options for those nights that you would be going out for dinner. You can make a freezer meal at home instead. It doesn't feel like cooking, it's really easy to prep and you have a meal for your family at home. So let's dive into the prep work here. What we're going to do is prep the meals to go into the freezer. So we're gonna start with the beef roast. So I'm gonna add the beef roast that I got from the store right into the freezer meal bag. This is actually two roasts it looks like. So we'll put it into two bags and we will add, get the ingredients ready to go and then add them in with the roast. I love these freezer meal bag holders to hold the bags open so we don't make a mess all over the kitchen counter and we do have these available in our online store. So next in our ingredient prep is going to be to peel and quarter these sweet potatoes. So I'm just gonna do that here. And then after that we will do the same with the carrots. Peel and definitely do not want to peel these into your sink because potato peels in the sink is not a good combination. They will get in a big fight with your disposal. On our freezer cooking website, we have a thousand recipes that work in this sort of prep um, ingredients in load bags sort of format that we're gonna go over here. So yeah, there's a lot of them and I'm really particular about the type of recipe that I include. I need it to be fast to prep and really fast to cook. So it really, we hear from so many people that it just it doesn't feel like cooking. It's more like, it might be cooking, but it's more like reheating or, you know, letting the slow cooker or the instant pot, you know, in the case of the honey mustard chicken that we'll get to, even this beef roast, they're gonna cook it for you. So it doesn't really feel like you're doing anything and you have this great meal ready to go. Peeling is done. So next, let's do the carrots. We're gonna just lop off the ends. And then I, because I'll probably slow cook this, I'll probably just leave them in big chunks like this. So we'll just leave them like that. It's fast and easy. And then these are going right into both of these um, bags. Once you're done chopping, you can just do that. One tip is leave your carrots in big chunks, especially if you're going to slow cook them. And really the same goes for the sweet potatoes. Because we're slow cooking them, we can just kind of run our knife through a couple times. You don't need to cut them down too small because they're gonna cook really nicely in the slow cooker with the rest of these ingredients. Just into big chunks like this. And again, we'll divide these evenly among the two meals that we have that we're making here. And last for this one, see how fast and easy that is, we're just gonna add some seasoning. This is just a seasoning blend. Pretty much any seasoning blend that's gonna work with meat and sweet potatoes, whatever your favorite seasoning blend is, you go ahead and use that. And then when we are ready, everything's loaded in, you're going to take it out from the bag holder, kind of roll it and seal it. There we go. Just kind of press the air out. These don't last all that long in my freezer, but if you're using you know, a freezer where you're gonna leave it in there for like you know, a year, um, you're gonna want to maybe use a vacuum seal, but that doesn't happen around here, so I just get as much air out as I can. And then try and flatten it into the smallest that you can. Roasts are a little bit harder to flatten um, because the meat is thicker. I will show you with the chicken how easy it is to flat freeze a freezer meal. This one's a lot trickier because it's thicker. <laughs> 
So when it's time to put these in the freezer, because these two are thicker and about the same um, height, we can sort of roll them together and together they will make one layer and then we'll add the chicken meals onto the top here in just a couple of minutes and then we'll put this whole sort of like almost Tetris style situation of our meals into the freezer. When prepping a roast like this for the freezer, whether it's just the roast and a sauce and seasoning or roast and veggies like this, you're probably gonna wanna add about a tablespoon of seasoning per pound of the roast. And I think that would work really well for both a beef roast or a pork roast. And that is how I would put together some extra beef roast that I find available at the grocery store into the freezer so we have some really great freezer meal options down the line. You can get this recipe and many others on my freezer cooking website, myfreezeeasy.com.